Hello everyone! Today I'm taking you for a little wandering to Clapham Common. And I'm gonna escape from the main road because it's very noisy. I like this statue. Don't know if it's properly visible, but it's a lady pouring water to someone. Looks like a pilgrim's something. I don't know. That's in my head. <laughs> The church you can see there, it's overlooking the common, it's called the Holy Trinity Church and it was built in the 18th century. What I wanted to show you is the banner on it. Um, okay, I'm gonna stop and try and zoom on it. You can see it. There is hope for viewers in the future. <laughs> when I'm filming this, we are during coronavirus times and there's a lot of desperation and hopelessness amongst many. So we need encouragement like this. It's a beautiful church has an interesting history but I'm not gonna get into that because that's not the point of this wandering there's a Mr. Crow hello <laughs> okay I'm gonna gallop ahead oops don't fight guys because uh, you might have noticed that it's gonna be sunset again <laughs> and this is not one of the safest places to be in the dark so I'll talk to you about that later I just wanted to film some of the spring flowers and the twilight coloring is beautiful <laughs> These are beautiful too. The ones that are considered weed. <laughs> Weeds, not weed. <laughs> anyway, I think they're absolutely pretty. But we mostly pay attention to the cultivated flowers, don't we? Aye, aye. I don't know if you can see him, but there's a little squirrel up there. He almost gave me a heart attack because he was running across the road. <laughs> when the cars were coming. Clapham Common is one of the larger parks again of London. It's similar in, it's similar in size to Rockwell Park where I've taken you for a wandering two weeks ago. This one is over I think 220 acres of land and it's triangular so it looks cool on the maps. Now, I'm not gonna go there because I don't have enough time, but that's where the cool kids hang out. Skateboarding venue. Young girls and boys learning to skateboard. It's quite fun to watch. Just had to film this because the sun looks amazing amongst the branches. Otherwise, I'm trying to escape because there's a road here. There's so much noise. It's one of my pet peeves that you come to a park for peace, but you have so much noise. It's really annoying. And another cool lamp. bit more of the surroundings. There's some really beautiful Georgian and Victorian mansions all around the park. Now 
think I've told you before in other parks, I think most of them which are large enough, there's plenty of sports areas. So there's football fields here, rugby fields, cricket, bowling greens and all sorts of other things. But yeah. There's a lot of green areas and some trees, but not enough to my liking and barely any bushes and things. So for that reason, it's not one of my favorite places to come to, but it does have three ponds and that I do like. <laughs> so I do come here oh, fairly often to look at the birds on the pond and stuff and I'm making my way that way now right in front Billy. of us Billy, come here. there's a beautiful bandstand it's Victorian it was built in 1890 and it is the largest one in London now I'm gonna take you closer because you might see from the distance that there are loads of flowers put at the base of it and that is because on the 13th of March there was a vigil held here for a young woman called Sarah Everard she was kidnapped from this area and murdered somewhere else taken by a policeman of duty it's a very sad, horrible story. Uh, okay, I'll take you closer. This was Sarah. Sun is going down. Oh. Had to take a few minutes to compose myself. There's a cutie. <laughs> What's she looking at there? And another cutie pie. But there's a pond here. You probably saw a bird in there or something. Okay, as I said, there's three ponds. One is quite manicured, and I'm not gonna take you there, and two of them are wild. And that's what I like. So let's have a look at this one first. You just heard the parakeet and now you get to see the setting sun amongst the reeds. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Now let's see who's on the one today. A 
is a little more hen. And I can see coots there in the middle. And a black duck I don't recognize. Look at the new shoots. Most of the pond creatures are hiding now. I found a pair of beautiful Canada geese. Hi guys. Do you have your dinner? <laughs> Depending when you come and what you get to see, there's herons sometimes and all sorts well, of other waterfall. Where are your mates? They're usually a whole bent together. Oh, did you see him duck? <laughs> Where are you gonna pop up? Okay, more or less the same place. Now, those of you who watch my videos regularly might recognize these scenes in the pond. As I said, I do film here from time to time. And the sun is almost down now. More shoots. Spring has come. New life has begun. And I'm rhyming. <laughs> Pretty cool. Hmm. I just spotted a cormorant the there. Can we show you? Okay, he's perched there. And you just heard that little moorhen. He's coming my way. Oh, I love how she's now being. I ran up the hill to catch a last glimpse of the setting sun today. <laughs> it's pretty. There's a little cafe and a small picnic area here. And as I'm going around the pond, I can't help myself not to stare and film it for you. Now, Mr. Cormorant, can we see you better? There we go. Now, turn your head. There we go. <laughs> it would be awesome if you would take off so we can see you fly. Well, I think he's resting, so that's that. You can see some fishing gear. I quickly ran because I spotted the <laughs> sun again. Anyway, I was just showing you the fishing gear. It's because fishing angling is allowed here. I think they need permits. But the ponds are populated with carp, beam, and I don't know, some other fish. 
And usually there's a few of them. I only spotted two today fishing. Beautiful plane trees here as well. Some people exercising. Now there's a more wooded area there, which I quite like. But as it's getting dark, I'm not gonna go inside. <laughs> Instead, I'm gonna take you to the other pond if we can get there. Oh, stop it. Zoom. No. There's a bunch of green parakeets in this big old plane tree. You can hear them. You can't really see them because we lost the light. But you can check them out in my other videos. They are absolutely gorgeous and very noisy. <laughs> but I have a plan in a few weeks time. So I hope I will get to show them to you again in a different way. Now this is the other pond, it's much smaller and it's closer to another main road. So it's also noisier. But here are some of our friends you met in other videos, some beautiful Egyptian geese. I wish I could understand what you're saying. You're beautiful. And so is the other one there. Their feathers are just stunning. Not just in color, but the intricacy. I don't know if I'm zooming up on my tummy. Just look up Egyptian geese on Google so you can see them from up close. I don't want to get closer to him because I think he's a bit agitated, so I don't want to aggravate him. Okay, what's the matter? Pigeons, more hand. Some other ducks, and there's the other one. There was a whole family, I think. Once when I filmed them, there were like 15, 17 of them. Okay, I honestly wish I could understand you. He was doing this before I came here, so it's not me provoking him. usually take my time to observe them from a distance before I get closer to them. Okay. Just to show you the area around us a bit. It's a beautiful location. It's just too noisy for my liking, as I said before. Stay focused, please. Now, those are the parakeets there again. There's loads of them in this park as well. And look at the <laughs> remnants of the sunset. Beautiful. This is a different pair of Canada geese swimming towards me. These birds are quite used to people feeding them, even though they shouldn't. So, as soon as they see a human, they come begging and expecting. 
but they do have plenty of food here. Okay, this Egyptian goose just keeps going. It's been now a long time. I don't know what's the matter with it. Hi guys. You two are beautiful as well. Absolutely beautiful. And they're very large. <laughs> I think they are the largest goose type that we have here in the UK. Okay, it's getting dark, so I'm gonna make my way back home. So I'm gonna say goodbye to you. I hope you enjoyed this wandering in Clapham Common. And I just hope that it's going to be a safe place for everyone. Men, women, children alike to come and enjoy and never be afraid that something awful might happen to them. There's a lot more sordid affairs that happened here, not just the sad story of Sarah. You can look them up, that's not the focus of my little video. But anyway, have a good night, evening, oops, hello Mr. Coot, and a good week ahead, and stay safe, and don't forget, there is always hope, bye all. There. A whole lot of green parakeets, but because it's dusk, you can't see their beautiful colors. Hi right, guys! Let's have a look at them. You can see the new shoots. Beautiful. As these are close to me, you can still see the colors. Can we see you? Wow. Okay, this is pond number three. As I said, it's not very interesting. They usually have little boats on it and things like that but I had to stop and film this look at those colors just so beautiful oh sorry there we go that's the reality <laughs> okay this time I'm saying goodbye again and that's that <laughs> okay it's too noisy behind me we are behind, uh, next to main road okay no more talking bye